Hi, welcome to Slate's Mushroom House. Today we're going to be pasteurising straw and then inoculating it with a straw loving species using grain straw. Using oaten straw today, which is also called bedding straw. And we have to use protective gear because it creates a lot of dust. So use a respirator or a mask to protect your lungs and eyewear to protect your eyes. Getting stuff in your eyes isn't very nice. I'm going to be making about 30 kilos of straw, so that's probably about half a bale. I'll show you how to cut it all up, and then we'll lay it into the basket ready for heat pasteurization. This is um, a 44 gallon drum half filled with water. So we want to get it up at about 80 degrees Celsius. So that's about 77 there. Check down here, it's 82. So what we'll do is we'll put the straw in and uh, put some bricks on top of it to hold it down. And then we'll crank the gas up again get the temperature up to about 70 degrees because it will will drop to about 65 60 degrees and that will probably take I don't know 20 minutes and then switch the gas off and wrap it in a thermal blanket put a bit of lime in there I find that if I put uh, two cups of lime in the water it keeps the straw sterilized for a, or pasteurized for a little bit longer it won't necessarily work too well in heat lime pasteurization but when it cools down it seems to uh, work a bit better so you get that extra length of time for the mycelium to grow through the straw what I do is chuck it in there you use the pulley system and slip you get hot water splashing up at you. Not that it's happened yet, but this is just a precaution. It's a bit noisy and it takes a little bit longer, but I don't want to get burnt.
Okay, let's make sure it's submerged. If it's not submerged, you've got to put more water in it and then heat it up for longer. Sometimes just pushing it down like this works. What are we at? 66, so we're pasteurizing at the moment, so we can start timing. You want to pasteurize uh, for about one and a half hours. Some people only do an hour, but I do one and a half. Let's crank the gas up. Get it up to 70 odd degrees. So the uh, straw has now been pasteurizing for one and a half hours and it's time to take it out. So we'll take this blanket off. It's a good job in winter because it's nice and warm. winch it out and we're not going to go all the way up yet and we let that drain for about 20 minutes and while we wait for that to drain we're going to stick the tools that we're going to use in the next process into the hot water cool plugs on it so while we're waiting for that straw to drain, uh, get an area prepared uh, so you can uh, let the straw cool down. So you want a nice flat surface. You want the straw to cool down as quickly as you can. Um, I put plastic curtains in, spray them with 3% hydrogen peroxide and that just kills off the uh, contaminants such as bacteria and also uh, suppresses the growth of moulds. So I put it in one of these spray containers. Right. So I'm just going to check the temperature now. Should be pretty cool. So yeah, about 25 degrees so it's ready to inoculate. You can inoculate it now with an oyster mushroom variety or a king's chafari uh, variety um, or any other um, straw um, loving species but today I'm going to use um, king's chafari and then you'll see it in another uh, this be used in a garden bed in another video now if you wanted to um, use elm oyster mushroom or any other mushroom variety um, you could stuff this into bags or holy buckets or even put it with the elm oyster mushroom you could put it in your garden I wouldn't recommend other oyster mushroom varieties so they can take the nitrogen away from the soil so let's put this in nice and even trying to break it up as much as you can but don't squash the grains too much I'm using a 1.5 kilogram bag of grain spawn. The grain spawn is the fungi in a sterile bag. The fungi grows over this grain here, which is sterilized rye grain. It's hydrated and then sterilized in these bags here. Then I in inject it with uh, culture, a liquid culture or a culture from a petri dish of whatever mushroom species I want to grow. That way we know that we're going to be growing the mushroom that we want on the straw and not mould or any other wild mushroom. Now, I'm just going to mix it through. Thank you. 
Right, that should do it. Now this is the stage where I'd, um, if I was using oyster mushrooms, I would be packing it into holy buckets or bags. What I like to do is wrap it up, cover it over like that. Okay, and just like that, we'll even um, I'll put it on the ground and I'll put a, some bricks on top of it and uh, wait for two weeks and let the um, mushroom mycelium grow from the grain spawn into the straw and give it a bit of a head start before I put it into the garden. That way, um, you know, if a bird comes in and starts eating grain or stuff like that, you still have it in the straw. Kingston Ferry is best grown in late spring to late autumn so you can grow Elm Oyster Mushroom in the cold months and Kingston Ferry in the warm. Another way to store your straw until it's ready to go out into the garden is in a bin with a lid. Just make sure you clean it out first. It's quite handy and you can just lift it out into the garden area where you want to put it on. Put it in these 50 litre containers, they're really strong, they're expensive but they last a long time. They also come with lids. I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when one of our other videos comes out, especially the one where we grow the King's Trafaria mushroom in the vegetable garden patch in a hothouse. Our website has products available such as the grain spawn. It's also got a lot of good information on there. Visit our Facebook page. It's got all of our recent updates, the mushrooms growing in our garden, um, new products coming out. Uh, we'll also be releasing some other videos on how to cold pasteurize using lime, using ash, using hydrogen peroxide and um, cold fermentation.